astronauts are, we believe, getting ready to come out of the building that you see there, uh, parked just behind these cars. They went in there some time ago, quite a while ago. Here's an aerial view of the uh, complex of buildings at the uh, Dryden uh, Space Research Center. Let's open the microphones down there so we can hear the applause as the astronauts come into view. Well, there's quite a crowd there, as you see. Lynn, do they have a, uh, a speaker's platform set up? Oh, there they are. Absolutely, Frank. There's Bob Crippen in his blue jumpsuit. Uh, John Young behind him, both of them with their wives, shaking hands and being greeted now. The crowd rather subdued. They're kind of in awe of these two men, as a matter of fact, Frank. They're sort of uh, shyly approaching the platform. I think Gene Cernan was right, however. Their grins are ear to ear to ear to ear. They are still flying up in Columbia, even though they're down here right now. Beautiful. Should be uh, Ike Gillum, the director of the Dryden Flight Research Center. Hey, there's a shot. Oh, happy day. Yeah. I have a surprise for those of you who are here. I'm Ike Gillum, director of the Dryden Flight Research Center, and I have the honor of being an ambassador of the ceremony. I come up here with one. one Dazzle you with my gravity. They want you together. They want you together. Right, okay. <laughs> How about that? Astronauts, young and crippling, distinguished guests, America is a nation of families. And this is a family separation. I'd like to ask the wives to come and join us. Please, we're honored. On behalf of the President of the United States, it's my honor to welcome him back safely. The President, Mrs. Reagan, and entire world breathe a sigh of relief when you touch down a few thousand yards out there. I have heard pilots talk about hot landings or bringing them in smoking, but you set a new definition for those terms. Sixty years ago, two pilots, Navy, it hurts me to mention, <laughs> flew nonstop from the East Coast and landed in California and opened a new era in transcontinental travel. We may look back in 60 years to this date and recognize that you opened a new era in space travel. I would have to state that they considerably bettered your time, but you <laughs> took a circuitous route. The President has asked me not only to offer congratulations to you, but to the entire NASA team and to the thousands in our industrial base who made this possible. We are back in space after several years and proud of it. We have proved that the United States can undertake a complex scientific mission and carry it through to success. It's a uh, this is Susie. <laughs> Best thing that ever happened to me. It was a really tremendous mission uh, from start to finish. Crippen is uh, one of the hardest workers I know, and he carried me through that whole thing. Uh, I think we've got a fantastic and remarkable capability here. We're really not too far the human race isn't from going to the stars. And uh, Bob and I are mighty proud to have been a part of that evolution. Thank you. John is our speech maker. This is my wife, Jenny. Uh, as the rookie of the group, I can say that waiting 12 years to get my flight in space was well worth it. Now I'll go stand in line for another 12 years if that's what it'll take, but I don't think it will. I think we're back in the space business to stay, and I think myself and all of my compatriots are going to get many more opportunities to fly. And I think that, as has been said here, we are really in the space business to stay. Thank you.
I just might take this moment to express to, to John and to Crip, uh, and I hope I'm speaking for all the NASA employees, I believe I am, and the NASA contractors. Uh, it's been a, a special pleasure for us to have been associated with two super guys like you and Crip, John. Uh, if uh, at the moment uh, we have the governor of the state of California, Governor Brown, who would like to make a special presentation. Governor Brown. On behalf of all the people of California, I wish to express our pride at being the host for this landing of the first shuttle flight. And on behalf of the citizens of this state, I'd like to award the Order of California to each of the astronauts. First, Robert Crippen, will you stand up and see if I can put this around your neck? Yes, sir. All right. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. John? Okay. I want to give you a certificate. I want to give you a little more to it. Together, that's all. Come on. Come on. I don't know if he's going to fit you. As I said at the beginning, we were going to try to keep the ceremony as brief as possible. Uh, we didn't want to, to rush you. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for attending this momentous occasion. And uh, if you have the opportunity, come by and visit us again at the Dryden Flight Research Center in Edwards Air Force Base Complex. Thank you. Well, the astronauts have now received their first award, the Order of California, from the governor of California, Jerry Brown. And the uh, ceremony is breaking up there now. We've heard uh, brief remarks from the astronauts but uh, eloquent, too, weren't they, in their way? What did John Young say? After saying it was a tremendous mission from start to finish, he added, we are not too far now, the human race, from going to the stars. That's kind of an impressive thought. And Bob Crippen said that uh, he had waited 12 years to get in his flight in space, but it was well worth it. And he expressed confidence he won't have to wait that long to go back again. They're uh, going away now. Frank, those, those were uh, very monumentous remarks by... Uh... Yes, Gene, go ahead. Th those were significant remarks by John. I told you over the years of his experience, he certainly has, uh, has mellowed quite a bit and thought very seriously about the work that he's involved in. And he's right. We, uh, we truly have uh, evolved into the heavens. Uh, one step further than we had in Apollo. Uh, we now have an opportunity not just to, to uh, enjoy what we've done, but really make practical use and application of what we've done uh, with the aid of a vehicle like the Columbia and with the efforts of people like John and Bob. Yeah, that was quite a thing to say. Not too far the human race from going to the stars. He didn't put it in nationalistic terms either, did it? He, he talked about man, you know, mankind reaching for the stars. Well, it is mankind that's reaching. Uh, we're, we're, a, uh, we're a very small planet, a very beautiful star in the heavens, but we, we are uh, very singular in nature. Uh, although we create our own problems, uh, when you stand back and look uh, from a quarter million miles away, you don't see those boundaries. You don't see the language. and and uh, color differences that we seem to make such a big thing of down here on Earth. And perhaps uh, someday something like the shuttle uh, will allow mankind to overlook those differences and coordinate his efforts together, as John said, uh, in reaching for the stars. 